a pinwheel experiment in which an aluminum foil pinwheel rotates round and round as the candle is kept under the pinwheel. Hi, I'm Mayling from Fun for Kids. Welcome to Maker's Face. Today's pinwheel experiment is all about convection. Convection, a process by which heat is transferred by movement of a heated fluid such as air or water. Have you ever ridden your bicycle through a strong wind? If so, does it feel really tough? Or have you ever wondered how wind-powered devices such as wind turbines actually work? So today, we will explore the concept of convection through this spinning pinwheel experiment. Before we start, we need to prepare a few items. Firstly, we need a lighter. piece of aluminum foil, any household items uh, which has a shape of a circle, it doesn't have to be perfectly round, multi-purpose packet, a scissor, four tea light candles, a marker to trace your circle, a pencil with one end that has an eraser, and lastly, a pin. So are we ready to start? Yes! Okay, so first we need to prepare the aluminium foil and also any household items which are circle in shape it doesn't have to be perfectly round we will start with making the pinwheel so we will take a sharpie and we will outline the circle on the aluminium foil, once you have outlined the circle on the aluminium foil, you will then cut out the circle using a scissors. Making sure that you are cutting along the line. So once you have cut your circle, you can place the items on the side and place your aluminum foil on a flat surface. And right now, I will need to find the center of the aluminium foil and in order for me to do that, I will fold the aluminium foil into half I will unfold it and I will fold it again to half so that it will be easier for me to identify the centre of the circle. I will unfold it again and fold it into half. This is so that I will have the lines on the aluminium foil which would be easier for me to cut them later. So in total, I have fold them four times right now as you can see there are lines on the aluminium foil I will then use the scissors to cut six to eight lines and make sure when you are cutting the lines you cut only three quarter of the lines if you cut them completely, you will be missing one of the blades. As you can see, I'm cutting three quarter according to the lines that I have created when I folded the circle into half earlier. Okay. 
if you want to be very accurate with the lines, what I suggest you to do is you can outline the lines with a marker. Okay, so right now I have cut the lines three quarter from the center. I will then fold half of the blades. As you can see, this is one blade. I will fold half of it. And I make sure that the blades are facing upwards. And always make sure to fold them all at the right side. So I'm always folding on the right side. And lifting blades upwards. So I'll repeat it for the rest of the blades and I have to be very gentle as you can see the aluminium foil could tear apart easily. Make sure to leave the blades upwards like this and I always make sure that I'm folding on the right side. If you want to speed up the process, what you can do is you can fold all of them first like how I did and then lift them up when you're done. So here it is. As you can see, all of them have their right side of their blades facing upwards. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna make the stem for my pinwheel blades. In order for me to do that, I will be using a multi-purpose tag. I suggest that you use at least, as you can see, slightly the size of my thumb here. Slightly more, just to make sure that your pin will stand is stable later. I can test it out first and make sure it's stable and that it will not fall. Okay, this is just right. Right now, I'm going to take the pin and you can see this is the head of the pin. I'm going to use the pin. I'm going to poke a small hole into the center of the aluminium foil which is my pinwheel and right now I'll insert the pin into the hole so while you're inserting the pin into the hole you will need to make sure that your blades are facing downwards the folded part of your blades are facing downwards and once you've inserted the pin into the center I'm going to take my stand in which the end has an eraser. I'm going to insert the pin in here. And I'll spin it slightly just to make sure that my pin wheel will be able to move smoothly later. Right now, I'll insert the pencil to where I created the stand earlier, the base for the stand. Right now, I'll prepare the tea light candles and place them on four sides. With the experiment. Light up the tea light candles. And 
wait until you observe that the pinwheel starts to spin on its own. So why does this happen? The candles heated the surrounding air. The heating air then causes the air molecules to travel further apart, making the air less dense, hence lighter. From lighter air then rises upwards, causing the aluminium foil pinwheel to spin. This is a continuous process because the cooler, denser surrounding air keeps coming towards the candle and gets heated up. Hence, this is a simple demonstration of how convection currents can exist in thunderstorms and also ocean currents. So, this is the pinwheel experiment. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember, please be careful when handling with the lighter as well as the candle and you can try it on your own at home. Thank you!